During, I guess what you would call a press conference this week that was broadcast on his uh, Frank speech platform, my pillow CEO, Mike Lindell said that he thought at at least one point this year, the federal government was going to off him. That's right, folks. The paranoid, maybe even delusional CEO of my pillow thought the government was going to come and kill him following the January 6th insurrection and the subsequent impeachment trial, second impeachment trial of Donald Trump. He said this in front of a room full of people. And of course he says, that's why I had to get my documentary absolute proof out as fast as humanly possible because they were going to come kill me. Here's just a couple snippets of what Lindell said. I'm not going to show the video because I just want to read this because it's so ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. The absolute proof. Let me tell you the key part of that. This is probably the only time where I had a little fear and I had to pray, get on my knees and pray to God. There was 10 days before the impeachment trial. Let me tell you I'm 10 days before. And remember at the time that was like the, towards the end of January, you know, the impeachment trials were Tuesday following the February eight. Okay. And this was maybe January 25th or so I, I'm sitting there. I go, wow, they're going to impeach him. And I had word that they were going to impeach him. We were not going to be able to show evidence at that trial. And, and it's pointed out in the article here from the new civil rights movement that, uh, why does he say we, like we weren't, you weren't even a part of it. Like what the hell are you talking about? You weren't a part of it. This wasn't even about election fraud, but this is where it gets truly nutty. And guess who was number one on that list to come and get me. And they were coming. I'm going, God, they're going to kill me. You know, they're going to put me and hang me. And basically is what I'm thinking. And at that moment, he said, you know, I got to put a documentary, just put the evidence out there and make it. What? I mean, really, what, what, what the hell are you talking about? This doesn't even make any sense. They're going to, they're going to kill you. Why? Why? Like that, you'd never answer the why part, Mike. And it drives me crazy, but I guess also trying to analyze the thought pattern of somebody who, in my opinion, is clearly not all there anymore. Like I firmly believe that there's something wrong with Mike Lindell's brain. I, I do not think for a second that this is an individual that is all there. And I know he has a past history of drug use. I don't know if that caused permanent damage to his brain. I don't know if he has some other kind of disorder. And if he does, this isn't meant to attack him. This is like, this guy needs help. If you're the kind of paranoid delusional person sitting around thinking the government's going to come kill me, that's not normal behavior. Those aren't normal thoughts that rational human beings have. You know, these are the people that are huddled down thinking, oh, the black helicopters are coming and I got to put on my foil helmet. That's not normal. And what Mike Lindell is saying here is not normal. A rational, fully functional person doesn't have these kinds of thoughts. And yet here he is out there bloviating, trying to promote his documentary, saying that he legitimately thought the government was coming to get him. They were going to hang him which isn't even something the government does. Like we don't hang people, you idiot. So is he saying this just to drive up, uh, you know, views on his idiot documentary? Maybe. Is he saying it because he legitimately thought that? Maybe. So that's why it's hard to really come to any conclusion here. Like, does the guy need psychiatric help? I firmly think yes. I'm no mental health expert, so I can't, you know, diagnose him with anything. I'm not the person to say he definitely has this, or he's definitely suffering from that. All I can give is my opinion, which is that this dude's not well. And all of these people around him are enabling it. And that's the worst part of it. We are clearly, again, in my opinion, watching a man in very rapid mental decline, suffering from paranoid delusions and everybody's just enabling it. That's the saddest part of this whole story. And there've been articles, there've been reports in recent months where those close to Mike Lindell think the guy might be losing it. And that's no joke 
because this guy is doing real harm to the country. And I think it's about time that the mental health experts stepped in, used whatever authority they have to get this man a psychological evaluation because these aren't the thought patterns of a rational human being.